right, standing here with, well, everyone in Calgary and Western Canada and everyone in the CFL knows who this is. Dave Dickerson, legend stampede, legend line. First of all, mate, how many pieces of pizza did you have? <laughs> Not nearly as many as the old line area here, but uh, yeah, I'm just glad that they, they consider me a semi-celebrity still so I can come out and do these things. Mate, behind Jerome McGinley, you're probably second or third in Calgary. You had, you had a few pieces of pizza, you couldn't have too many. What was your favorite supplier of pizza? I don't know the company, but you know, uh, no vegetables goes on my, uh, my pizza. All meat, Montana style, Alberta beef, that sort of thing anyway. Uh, I just like hanging out with the guys, saw a couple of the flames, that's always nice for us stamps to, to hook up with some other guys and uh, having a good time. And your buddy uh, Randy Chevrolet won it, did he have to go and throw it up and uh, so that Huff Neagle wouldn't be upset with him for, for eating so much? He's not on a, like a weight limit or anything like that, the guy, he actually loves that stuff. He was, he's been dieting for a couple days here now, getting ready for the, the eat off and I actually thought he choked, I didn't think he ate enough, but he, he won over the bunch of skinny guys. Well he's an NFL like yourself and his buddy, uh, his cousin, uh, Raquel Roverday, he's doing quite well this, well this year as well for the Stampeders, correct? French cousin I guess, yeah. they. Uh, He's had a good year. I didn't know much about Miguel before coming here and uh, uh, happy to see him get on the field and do a good job. Yourself, you've won a great cup, you won an MVP, you're a legend. Tell us a little bit about your time out there with Wally and uh, BC Lions. Uh, you know, it's, it was nothing but good. Uh, really didn't want to leave, but really happy that Calgary gave me a chance to, to finish the career. But those were good years. We had good teams. Uh, I still think they're our, our biggest competition. You know, if you're going to win the West, you got to get BC out of the way, and uh, it's going to be an exciting uh, finish for us. No doubt, Stamps are a chance, BC Lions are a chance. You're retired, maybe retired. You're on the injury reserve list now. Few too many concussions. It's the end of the road, maybe. You're not sure yet. Final decision being made. <laughs> I'm not going to give you inside scoop at a uh, pizza pig out in, in Cowboys here, Mick Ozzy. You're going to have to work harder than that. So, no, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens down the road, but all's good with my health. Absolute legend of the CFL, Dickinson, Davey, double D's a champ. Dave, Aussie footy, Darren Bennett, your mate down there at the Chargers. Vancouver won Division One, in the U.S. Nationals. Calgary, we came runner-up in Division Two. What do you think of the uh, Australian rules football? <laughs> I actually am glad you brought up uh, Mr. Bennett there. Uh, still nothing but good memories, great man. You think about the Aussies and uh, the guys I've met, except for you, real good guys. Oh, sorry about that. No, uh, you know what, I've never played it, watched it a little bit, but tough stuff, oh, excuse me. And uh, you know what, good guys. Well, this guy would have made a great Aussie rules football player. Dave, great to see you again, and uh, maybe we see you in the Grey Cup, BC versus Calgary. It's a possibility. You never know, right? Could be as long as we're there. I don't care who the other team is. All <laughs> Good right. Good to see thanks. you again, champ.